What's up? This is Ross with Tactics out here having some fun with Don and Kelly from S Skateboarding at the Soul Tech headquarters. We're talking the S SLB recreation of the original model from way back in the day. What can you tell us about what went into creating the shoe? Wow. Well, um, so. Hi everyone, by the way. Um, <laughs> so this shoe, so not many people know this, but Sal Barbier was actually the first team rider on S in 1995. And Sal is like, the reason Sal was part of S is because he's just, he looks good on and off the board, his style is just immaculate, and he also helped really progress Gabriel into another level in the 90s. And um, same for, for Sal, he's got a really good eye for design and um, just overall style. So it's something that he had the Sal 20, three at the time, which is now the Sal 20, we still have in the line. His second shoe was the SLB, and he actually had another shoe called the SLB 97. Um, but we're bringing back this shoe, which is actually one of the most requested S shoes. Um, whenever we post any like older sh shots of the shoe on uh, social media, everyone's like, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, must have it, must have it. So we actually did bring it back, a green, white one back um, for holiday um, 2016, and that thing just flew off the shelves, it's all gone. Yeah. You didn't get any? Sorry, they're gone. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so we're bringing these um, in in spring 2016. So, sorry, 2017. Yeah, it's crazy how time flies. Right? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> so 20 years. 20, 20 years between when the shoe first came out and where it is now. So, uh, a lot of the top riders in the world rode the shoe back in the day. So, like Kelly. Yeah, like Eric Costin to you know Sean Sheffy to Bob Burnquist to Ronnie Krieger. And they're in the best videos back then wearing it, and it just looks so dope in it. And it's kind of, and what's really cool is just bringing back the original colorways. Mm -hmm. So we have the white and green one, and this one, we have the white and the white coming out. And you got a clean new one, which is. Yeah, I like that one. Too. Yeah, this one's super tight. So I don't know, I'm like the hugest skate shoe fan. And I get like goosebumps when I see shoes like this. You know, when I first saw it come back, like you really do. Yeah, yeah. But no, like this shoe's super tight, and it's got the little sock liner in it, which is a uh, the original one. The sock liner on it is pretty heavy. Yeah, it's huge. The shoe's big. You know, I mean, all shoes were back then. Yeah. But now the shoes slimmed down to the standards where it's literally perfect size. You can wear skinny pants, you wear baggy pants. It's gonna look mm -hmm. good, and you can lace it all loose because. Yeah. The tongue sticks out and you still got the sock in there, which will keep your foot pretty good to go. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's, it's the same sole, similar sole to the uh, Excel Slim. Mm -hmm. So if you're an Excel Slim fan, like you'll love this right away. It's got a good board feel, it's got uh, some cushioning and uh, gives you that original feel like that I, I never really got to skate these when I was a kid. I always wanted to, but I get to do it now. Yeah. And that's something that's yeah. kind of priceless, you know? And so I'm I'm super happy that Sal came back with this one. Yeah. And asked it. So I'm super happy, man. It's pretty funny in the in the nineties one of the big trends was like actually like cutting out tongues of shoes and like stick them in your shoes. Yeah. And that's where a lot of the inspiration for this, the inner neoprene cuff came from, um, was just to not to be able to have the shoe loose, but be able to have your foot snug inside. So you don't have to have this crazy tongue like stuffed in there making it all pop. Uh -huh. But amazing shoe. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, that's one of the things that really turned me on to uh, like Soltec shoes in general. It's just like those, the neoprene tongue bands that they had. Mm -hmm. The first time I stuck my foot in the shoe that had that, I was like, wow, this like feels really good right away. And also just the fact that the cup soles are so flexible mm -hmm. immediately, mm -hmm. which was really surprising to me. So seeing like the figgy has a pretty extensive in inner liner like this and then seeing this guy and putting my foot in that i haven't gotten to skate a pair yet but i'm yeah. pretty hyped for this one as well yeah they're great to skate in man i mean kick flips all that stuff it's great like good flick everything's proper man and like I, what i'm sized on too is that like shoes back then like the toes were really short and everything this is like the perfect proportion for the shoe you know so looking down at it, you're, this gets you hyped. You know, it looks great, and it's got the dope, the dope uh, shield logo yeah. on the tongue. Yeah. It's just tight, man. Yeah, I think um, Bob Burnquist actually won Slam C Jam in these. Yeah, he did. He won a lot of things in those shoes. Yeah, yeah he did a lot of insane tricks in those things. Yeah, yeah. He won everything. Yeah, costing, winning stuff. Kelly Hart, Switch Hill, El Toro. Uh, I mean, I could do that in all these shoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Switch up. 
That's that's for yeah. next year. So okay. That's what we'll about later, you know. Pop. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> All right, you want to switch to El Toro? <laughs> this is the shoot now. If you have any more questions, though, seriously, it's good to uh, talk with you guys, your little history behind it all and everything. Um, but if any of you guys have any more questions you want to, uh, they probably won't be monitoring the comments, but we will be. And we might uh, hit up Don. I, I might go on YouTube or whatever and kind of say what's good, you know? Cool. Yeah. Comment back. You might even get a little special shout out. So make sure you uh, toss those comments and questions in the box below or head over to tactics.com and check them out.